welcome back boys and girls to part three of the pond cover build on the gazebo well that's in the previous last one the last done round there and there i'm coming down here now just jump on this wall here and you can see down here yeah we're, we're at it again it's not we're not quite where can i put it parallel down there and basically it taught me it goes out loud because I've got this strut here and that's all I've got to fasten on to I've been drum cleaning again so really that's not really parallel here or the wood can't go any further back I've got all of this here it's just to keep it covered and uh, keep the wind chill off it might be better for the heater anyway so I'm just coming down here. What's that of me doing it? Doing it right properly the first time. I had to bodge it, scarpy, that's me. And bodge it, bodge it, man. I do do my best, but I'm no builder as such. So yeah, I've cut this and measured it. And then tried it up, won't fit. Took it down, cut some more off. So, typical Lee Bow me, Lee, is been three or four times messing about, cutting it, trying to put it up, instead of doing them, instead of doing it, bleeding right the ones. But that's me for you. Well, like I say, it doesn't matter how long is it. It fits. Dirty side this side and clean side going into, into that side. But hey, yo, Rome went built in a week. You built it today. <laughs> anyway, so I'll crack on with this and do a bit more. So yeah, the feeder's nearly empty. So I've got about another uh, feeder full in there for then I'm off to um, my mate George at Wakefield. Pick some sake balance up. I've got a really really good price. I can't refuse. So I'll show you tomorrow. I might do a bit of filming if I get a chance tomorrow. But we'll have a look anyway. I'll pick camera up and see what. But you've all seen this place before at Wayfield. But anyway, we'll have a nosy. So I'll get this put up and have a look. Let's see what I can do with this. Oh, that's the last tub of the Takazumi growth and colour I'm going in. There you go. Well, the last top of the season. Then we're on to the Saki Balance next. Did you say not much left in there? Probably get this put in. There you go. And that'll last us that. We need to jump on um, test my cage and stuff and have a look at that. That's, that's a funny smell to water. It water seems a bit off, but. Oh, shower's off. Let's have a look at that. And then I'll show you what else I bought. Some more sake balance. That's a really good price. Well, well that's gone off, but That one. Yes, that one. Yeah.
There you go, back on again. Working, the while it turned off, but I need to sort that out because it's a bleeding mess, getting it all mounted and sorted. Yeah, I've got, got a big bloke to change the carbon in that because uh, I want to do a bit of paint, but I think mean, there is um, chlorine game for old, but I may do um, a scrap, I think. Film that. I might put that on camera, film that, do a scrap. Have a look, see if it's out, come towards or anything, but. <coughs> and, yeah, I'd remain around yesterday. Um, have a look, so I've been in Georgia at Wakefield yesterday. And I bought the fuel up, just have a look, because a couple of days came from is um, That Achiever one now is um, like a Gin Rin Chiba, but it's a Gin Rin Chago, you know. Lost all its pattern, which is pure gin. Chago, and the other thing done quite well, that, what it's given me, so. Bought a few up, and I bought a couple of them, looked a bit pink and stressed, so. And this one, hmm, I wonder if there's something there. But, I dare say I won't let the image great, but I'll see what I need to do. Alright, I'll leave you on this a little bit and I'm going in to pee down and I'll pick up when I do some more of this covering to finish off. Right, that's one, two, three. Uh, it were four tubs filled um, with Saki Balance. Managed to get a good price on that, uh, 150 quid for a 15 kg. I uh, can't tell you I got it from because um, it's not ideal for me. But anyway, that's what I've got it for at. So I'm going to feed. Uh, oops, there's it. I'm dropping it. Everyone, I'll drop it like a pound, isn't it? <laughs> With these. So yeah, just throw that in there, because the feeder just about empty. A bit more update on uh, what I've got with the covers. Basically, I've got to here now. So you can probably see, all oh, this is done. Down back in here, that's done, that's done. Get the shelf turned because I don't need one anymore. And that's done. I took my air ring out just there. Got a little air ring here. Just show you this air, air ring. There you go. Size of that. I had that just down here. And the crack that was in the middle around the air, well, middle of the air ring. So it's not moving crap away. Unreal. Yeah, they're still feeling like crazy. Down to 17 now. So they're slowly, slowly coming down. They're all feeding, still bleeding crazy, but that's it, I'm on the sake balance, and that's nearly empty. No one at all look, looked a bit pinkish. But I mean, putting out um, a bit of chlorine, maybe. But I have changed my big filter, so I'm big blow, so that's all changed now. Now I just start coming down here now with the carb uh, carbon sheets. Got this bit here to do. And then coming down here as well. Now I do it here so I'm getting to here. Well, yeah, I've got one here that looks a bit pink still. This one here look. I might attempt to do a couple of scrapes, I think it should be on the safe side, but they're not used to me me climbing up on here and messing and stuff. You know, stressed out and smoking and what. 
Well, I said I'll leave that couple there. See if it calms down that pinkness. If it don't. Hey ho, water, water test is great. There you go. Let's get this filled up now. And I shall crack on with some more on that. Right, there you go folks, done right to the end there, it's about there look, just um, come out as far as here, <laughs> so I'm going to go across there, the middle of that, I've got last sheet, that's it, run out of sheets, I need to saw some more somewhere, but um, <clears throat> I just think I don't know if I can show you on the heater, and a paragraph. <coughs> oh, look. Uh. No, I can't. It's on my app on my phone. I need to want that. Oh, there you go. It is better on my phone actually, but um <coughs> So it gives you on the uh, when it kicked in like last twenty four hours like a couple hours then um I'm six kicked in again for uh, an hour and a half, two hours, something like that. So it's kicking in less frequently. Uh, on the motor side, <laughs> on that. Oh, I see a bit wet just down there, but I don't know why that is. But anyway, I'm laughing a bit. So yeah, it's kicking just a little bit, but not <coughs> not as much. So this covers has helped. On with that. <coughs> uh, <coughs> Oh, there we have people, I'm middle of the middle of this bleeding cold. Yeah, I've just been away for a weekend and um, the heater kicked, uh, were turned off for me. I don't know why, it were off. And yeah, I went back checking the plug. The plug must have been pulled out of me, it worked quite in. So I had a couple of days off, chuffing no, no heater. <coughs> yeah, so I got that back up and running. <coughs> 16. Uh, yeah, it's got a lot of job to do today, this morning. It's sure it's sure of here, look. I bought I'll get a camera, it's split his fin down the outside. What I might tend to do is um, <coughs> give it a scrape, have a look, see what's issue there. If it needs treating, we'll treat it. If we get away not treating it, I won't treat it, but... <coughs> I think peace of mind is I'll um, do a water test first, then I'll um, get my scope out, <coughs> give him a quick scrape, then treat it if it needs treating, not put it back. But they're all eating, they're all swimming around fine. So. <sighs> I'll do the water test first, and I'll get this my scope out. I said they're all feeding really well. 
scoffing like nothing. <coughs> so I've just tested water anyway. NO2 nitrate. You only get a tonch of pink anyway when you're feeding. Ammonia. Zero. pH between 8.5 and 9 for some reason. Anyway, KH to 4. So I'm just uh, running for chlorine test now. <coughs> See what's on there. So for a scrape and do anything really. Just covering all the basics, make sure everything's should be in line of parameters. And um, it will add a bit of cage to buffer up just a little bit, but not much. And um, basically go from there. We're not going to do a next year's scrape. <coughs> Well, this is a bit um, not entirely freaking straight because we've all just um, had the feeling the belly, belly's a bit well, the guts will be full of food. But it's always better to be on the safe side, isn't it? <coughs> I think what I'm going to do first is I'm going to ball this one up here, have a look, see how bad it is. So I've got to go to work. <coughs> This morning, I ain't got time to mess about with work, so um, I boil it up, have a nosy, see what it could be, and then um, go from there. And then I treat the carder, the carder can treat to it, treat to the carder, whatever I need to do. Sorry, I'm not weak, guys, I just feel shite. Anyway, see what this chlorine come back as. That's the first one. You know what that means. Like an error. Anyway, I'll get back. To no, I have bowled it up. Um, it is round this side here. Yeah. Bad to see, really, but. Just there, well, not mega bad. So what I might do is um, I have to leave for today because I've got to go work busy. Um, not very rainy. Looks not too bad actually, but so yeah. Anyway, I'm not stressing how much more it is. Um, It probably could do a bit of tamarind on it, just uh, if I might put a bit on now actually, just to be on the safe side because you are better. Yeah, I'll put a bit on now. That just caught me. I'm uh, just filling this up, change the carbon because um, I'm getting chlorine just coming through on a very light small dose so what I'm going to do is <coughs> change the pre-filters on them and uh, undo that one, change one of them and um, take that off of there and roll the big blow around a bit just to <coughs> get the carbon motivated because it tracks if you don't and that's it basically uh, <coughs> I've got no further with the pond cover on the front because I haven't had time. I ain't sourced anymore. I've only got that one to fit, that's it. Uh, <coughs> I were going to ball this up. Dear, have a look at his peck and treat it, but I have balled it up. But it's not going to worse, it's not better, so I'm just leaving it at the minute because it's been in pee down outside here, raining so. I'm I'm not going to feed with that. But I'm going to get the chlorine sorted out on this and I'm going to leave it to it because they all look fine. Oh, two or three will add um, 
looked a bit red and a bit stressed. That's all settled down, calmed down. And they all seem fine. Apart from knocked its fin at the bottom there, look. <coughs> so I will, maybe tomorrow, when weather's all right, I'll get that up and uh, boil up. I'll knock it out and give it a trim or a treat, what it needs to do, but <coughs> I'll see about that. They are still okay in the food a bit on the sake balance, but yeah, apart from that, <coughs> brilliant. So we'll get that sorted. Taking down the shed, I'm in the shed now. I've got a couple of um, bits and bobs. Well made. No plaque here, look. <coughs> this is going for the um, GKP Gazzis Koi Pond 24 hour live show is going to be doing. Um, that's going to be the auction bit. We do a bit of um, auction on it. Obviously, not be a 24 hour auction, but it's auction and a few bits. I'm donated. So, what I'll do is I'll jump on the live show and I'll um, have these in. <coughs> For to auction and then um, we'll go from there so any guys interested stay tuned and watch it so i'll get back to genuine these <coughs> and that's it so um yeah so if you like this video thumbs up hit the subscribe button because it all helps do as you do as a use favor tell a friend send them my way and hope you can subscribe to the channel so thanks for watching guys and I shall see you on the next one. If I don't, I'll see you through a window. So thanks for watching guys. Catch you later.